Hi there. Today we're going to learn about estimating sums. We as people estimate sums almost on a daily basis. When we go to the grocery store, when we go to the movies, and even when we want to know how many fans are at a hockey game. Some problems do not need an exact answer, and for these we can estimate the sum. When we are estimating a sum, we take a look at the front digit of the number we are working with in order to figure out if we are going to round up or down. This is known as front end rounding. So I was able to track down my good friend Johnny here to help us with some estimating sums and front end routing. How you doing Johnny? Hey uh, you know I'm doing pretty good there Connor, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good Johnny, thanks for asking. What can you tell us about uh, estimating sums? Uh, do you still use math quite a bit? Hey, uh, yeah, of course I do. You know, I estimate sums all the time. You know, we go from rink to rink, um, skating around there on the ice, and I always wondered, you know, how many people are out here watching me? So I started using estimating sums, and uh, front-end rounding works pretty dang good. So, Johnny, you, uh, you and your team in Calgary there, you get about 20,140 fans. Is that correct? Hey, uh, yeah, you know, 20,140 real good fans we get out there, Tanner. Okay, and then uh, how about the Edmonton? Hey, I don't want to talk about the Edmonton Oilers, eh? Let's pick another team. Okay, how about uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs? They get about 18,819 uh, fans. Okay, let's take a look at these first two numbers here. 20,140 plus 18,000. 819. Let's take a look at this first number. 20,140. The first digit is a 2. So now that we know that's a 2, we know that it is about 20,000. So we can round that number down to 20,000. Look at the second number, which was 18,819. The first digit is a 1, so we know that that is about 10,000, so we can round that number down to 10,000. Now we can add these two numbers together to get our total estimated sum of 30,000. Is that right, Johnny? Hey, uh, you know, I think that looks pretty good, Tanner. I think you did it correct. That's good to hear, Johnny. Uh, thanks for coming out and helping the class estimate sums using front-end routing. Hope you have a great game tonight. We all wish you the best of luck. Hey, uh, you know, thanks, Tanner. Anytime, uh, anytime you need some help in the classroom, I'd be happy to come. You know, I'll be out there nice tonight uh, counting the fans using estimating sums with front-end rounding, like always. Hey, thanks for having me. Have a great, have a great day, guys. See ya. Okay, so next, we can adjust these numbers so that we can get a more accurate answer when we estimate our sums. Let's look at the first two digits of each number. So the first number is 20,140. The first two digits are 2, 0. 20,140. So we can round that number to 20,000 quite accurately. Now we take a look at the second number, which is 18,819. Now we can round that number, looking at the first two digits, which are 1, 8, we can round that number to 18,000 quite accurately. This leaves us with a total of 38,000 fans for those two games. Now, when we first started rounding, we were looking at the first digit in each number. This left us with 20,000 plus 10,000 equals 30,000. Then we started to look at our numbers using the first two digits. This left us with 20,000 plus 
thousand, which gave us an answer of thirty eight thousand fans, which is a much more accurate answer than if we were rounding with just one digit. So when we are going to be estimating sums using front end rounding, it is recommended that you use the first two digits of every number when you are going to estimate or round your answer.